What was your, is this bish serious, moment? The time this mother yelled at me for saying, excuse me. Her and her family were taking up the entire bike path, including the shoulder. Instead of cutting through them, I moved onto the shoulder and cheerily excused myself as I passed her. Didn't touch her, and she didn't really have to move since I managed to squeak by. Yet, as I passed, she started screaming a bunch of crap. Well, she did not expect me to come to a screeching halt and ask if there was an issue. She promptly hid behind her husband and wouldn't even look at me. All that energy for what? My sister's mother-in-law opened up all her wedding gifts and packed them away while she was on honeymoon. It's been three years since, but I'm still mad thinking about it. My wife and I got into an argument. She was acting irrationally. Basically, she thinks she is a mind reader and thinks anytime I am not in a good mood, it's because I am angry with her. So she was angry with me for having a bad day at work. She said I was always angry with her and she was sick of it and she wanted a divorce and move out. I had like a brief out-of-body moment where I visualized myself married to another woman, happy and with kids. So I said, then we should get a divorce, not thinking she was serious. She is moving out in mid-June now. I am really looking forward to it. I didn't realize how much I wanted it until she brought it up. I used to work at the register of my college campus store. People mostly came in to buy energy drinks slash gum or whatever, but you could also buy like sweatshirts and even computers. But given most people only bought like one small thing, we didn't have carts or baskets anywhere for shoppers. Anyway, one day a woman comes in, a student's mom I'm guessing, and asks me for help to reach a sweater on the top shelf. I grab it for her and go to hand it to her, but she motions at me to hold on for it. She proceeded to walk around the store grabbing several items and then giving them to me to hold. She literally shopped for like 10 minutes using me as her personal shopping cart. Luckily, I had a co-worker in the store on the same shift, so he was able to handle the register. At the end of this whole ridiculous segment, she got a message on her phone, read it, and said, Oh, you know what? I actually have to go meet my son. I'll come back later and get the things I need. And then she left, and I was left standing there with an armful of random crap that I then needed to go put back one by one. Like, come on, woman. Edit. To those calling me a bish or saying they would never do that, I applaud your bravery. I was an 18-year-old kid who was pretty excited to have a job to begin with and was scared of losing it from being rude to a customer. I definitely spent some solid time in the shower thinking of how I would have handled it differently. I used to be the community admin for an online game about a decade ago, and there was a guy who was permabanned who kept making new accounts to protest his ban on the official forums and get people to try and rally behind him to unban him or put malicious links to scam people. Our GM staff was largely outsourced, so I did most of the forum moderation on my own. He had obvious and telling posting habits and horrendous grammar, so it was usually easy to know if it was him, and a quick check of an IP address to verify, and the account was usually banned and posts deleted where appropriate. Well, this idiot one day, using a bunch of different accounts, I'm not even sure why, banning was easy on my end, and he made like 20 messages supporting himself, all that logging in and out made a long chain of posts trying to deliberately bribe me out in the open to unban his account. Not even a private message, just straight up in a new thread offering me cash to do so. For one, I started the job as a player recruiting for my honesty and ethics as a whole in the community. It wasn't happening, and the cash was negligible in what I was being paid. Second, how dumb does one have to be to think someone would accept a deal like that with everyone watching? Or did he think I would be so stupid to fall for something like that and blackmail by showing any sign of interest? I had the webmaster IP block him after that since he was using a static IP and left the thread open for posterity to prove the point. I used to work at Disney World. It's 9 a.m. and a lady comes in to our guest services demanding a refund for her turkey leg because it tastes weird. We ask her details to process the refund. Turns out she bought it three days ago and was carrying it in her bag since. The moment I met my mother-in-law and every moment with her to follow. A couple sat down at the movie theater 15 minutes into the movie. The lady sits right behind me and is holding a full conversation at full volume with the man barely acknowledging her. I politely ask her to lower her voice as it's distracting. She stares forward for two minutes before leaning over. Maybe if you weren't listening to my conversation, you wouldn't be distracted. I was too vivid to even respond, and the movie was ruined. Edit. The movie was Wonder Woman. I have definitely gotten employees for jerks at the movies. But I felt like I might punch this lady if I looked in her direction. 
Either way, she did lower her voice after that. A woman claimed to have left her money at home while I was working one day after she ordered two sandwiches. They take about 10 minutes to cook. I said that's okay, when you come back, they will be ready. She said she wanted the sandwiches first and that she'd be right back after she and her daughter ate because they lived right around the corner. I said, if you live right around the corner, you'll be back before the sandwiches are done, but I can't give you food before you pay. She lost her crap on me. It was wild. She left with no food and didn't come back. Edit. Changed, preferred, to ordered. There was a girl in my class who was such an idiot and she would outwardly disrespect the professor all the time. This one time while the professor was talking, she started to whistle. He like stopped class in disbelief and asked her why she was doing it and why she was being disruptive. And she said it's a thing she does without even thinking and then whistled again and was like, see? A customer came to pay for some lessons and I swiped her card upside down so I had to swipe it again. She caused a scene stating I charged her twice. I just sat there with a monotone, I only charged you once, every time she took a second to breathe. On multiple occasions, I've had mothers try to leave their kids with me because I'm in childcare. I literally have to stop telling moms I'm a nanny because I end up getting a strange baby plopped in my lap. The worst was at a park. I was chilling and reading. A mother sits next to me on the bench with her baby. We start chatting a little. Oh, your baby is such a cutie, stuff like that. This bish stands up, places her baby in my lap, diaper bag next to me, and says she'll be right back. Didn't ask. Just put her baby in my lap and walked away. This one girl in my class loved to apply perfume whenever she could, despite the fact that the girl sitting next to her was very sensitive to fragrance. One day, she sprayed a whole bunch on, and the girl started having a coughing fit and then a migraine and was sent to the nurse's office to calm down. When the teacher asked the girl why she did that, all she said was, What's the big deal? It's not my fault. I don't like people sometimes. Twenty years ago, a girl tried to fight me in a bar. All I did was look at her funny, unintentionally. I was going to the bar for a round of drinks and forgot the order, happened to be looking at her when I was lost in thought. Anyway, she challenged me outside. I couldn't believe it. I'm six foot one, 220 pounds, and she was small. Anyway, the bouncer heard her and kicked her out. She was still on the sidewalk an hour later when we left. Followed me to my car, pushing me and punching my back. It was surreal. Someone asked if I could break a $100 bill in pennies. I just looked at her, looked around to make sure I was definitely not currently working in a bank, it was a bakery, and said sorry. I just had one day. I've been going to my local high schools, running track to jog and exercise since lockdown. Well, to park your car, you have to go through a driveway that's designated with arrows as one way. There's an exit on the other side of the parking lot. Anyway, the soccer moms in town are notorious for parking their cars in this driveway and making it hard to get into the actual parking lot. As I pull into the driveway, one of these women thinks that it's a brilliant idea to put her car into reverse as I'm entering. I couldn't swerve out of the way because there was an SUV parked right at the mouth of the entrance taking up half the available space. So I reacted and honked my horn. She proceeded to panic, throw the car into drive, and run into a small boulder that lines this driveway. It ripped the passenger side air deflector clean off. According to her, I'm now a freaking a-hole that honks her horn for no reason. When I walked into the apartment I shared with a friend and it was covered in vomit because her dog ate a pillow and had puked it up. Two days earlier, the living room was covered in dog puke and she had just sat there in the middle of it. She thought it was funny. I called a moving company on the spot and arranged for the first appointment they had and put my stuff in storage while I found a new place. That was my last roommate. I've worked at Spirit Halloween every season for the past five years. I would highly recommend it if you're trying to make some spare cash. Anyway, super shady things happen at Spirit Halloween all the time, so I have endless stories to tell. For this story, I was working in the dressing room, basically just regulating who goes in and taking costumes out of the bags to withhold accessories to prevent theft, etc. This was my first year working there, so I was about 20. Just a couple days before Halloween, a girl around my age came to the dressing room with a typical college girl costume. That's all I'll say. She says something like, Oh good, we're about the same size. I'm in a rush, so I wouldn't have time to find an associate to help me. I just kind of smiled and took the bag from her, like, what the hell does that even mean? I unpack the costume, leave the accessories, and put it in a basket to carry to the dressing room. She looks really confused, so I just asked her to follow me, and I'd get her a dressing room. I wish I was making this crap up, but this girl says to me, Why would I go back there for you to change? Huh? 
I can't even remember exactly how I responded because I was so confused, but it was something along the lines of, you try on the costume yourself so you know how it fits you. An associate doesn't do it for you. And this girl had the audacity to be mad at me for saying that. Her response was basically, well, I don't want to have to get out of my clothes and change into the costume so it isn't worth my time. That's so unsanitary to have a bunch of people trying the costume on instead of you just doing it so I don't even want it anymore. Followed by her storming out. E. Removed my comments about pay because for some reason people are getting defensive about my belief that the wage is acceptable for the amount of effort put in. Me and my friend, both around 14 at the time, snuck some of dad's whiskey while my parents were out. We each had a few sips from the bottle, did the obligatory, ah, it burns, and that was about it. At first. A few minutes later, my friend starts acting really wasted. He's crashing into walls, falling down, slurring his speech. I'm thinking there's no way this kid is wasted. We had like 0.25 milliliters of that whiskey. I don't even feel anything except the lingering little burn in my throat. He's gotta be faking it. He started dry heaving, smashed a lamp, then went toward the TV like he was going to grab it. I had to literally bear hug him while he fought like he was resisting arrest. He was foaming at the mouth and screaming. And wouldn't you know it, just like that, he sobered up and relaxed. So in the span of five minutes, he got wasted on a sip of whiskey, wrecked my house, fought me like a wild animal, then sobered up. Happened a few days ago. Customer hasn't paid their bill in five months and was in bad standing even before coronavirus. We actually agreed to waive her late payment of three months. Bish then had the audacity to demand that we remove 75% of her bill, then demanded to speak to the CEO when we obviously refused. I work at an arcade slash bowling alley combo that served food like a full restaurant. My position had me delivering the food and taking the dirty dishes to the back. So there's a group of like six people bowling and they ordered our sampler platter that had a little of everything from the appetizers menu. I brought this platter out and set it down asking if there was anything else they needed. Without really looking, this woman says, we're good. I begin to turn around and this woman grabs my arm and yanks me toward her like I was her kid and says, where the frick are my chicken wings? In disbelief of what was happening, I paused looking at her, then the platter, eventually saying, they're right there, ma'am, in this little basket on the platter. She lets go and with a skeptical expression says, hmm, okay, as if she really didn't believe the wings were there. If I didn't hate working there and my shift was any farther from being over in 10 minutes, I would have spoken to a manager, but I didn't care enough to stay to get it sorted and just wanted to leave. Coworker gave me the whole, we're all in this corona thing together and have to sacrifice together speech, then called a departmental meeting, excluding me, to bully our supervisor into making sure that 100% of lost hours and lost income from scheduling changes and cuts fall on my shoulders while all of her and her friends' paychecks remained completely intact because he's just a part-timer, we're the real team here and not him. Technically, he's not entitled to any hours at all, so it's okay to cut them all. My income for the month dropped over 50%, while the real team that I've been a part of for five years didn't lose a dime. A customer once sent back her steak tartare because it was, and I quote, severely undercooked. Lady standing outside the grocery store this weekend harassing those who went into the grocery store by saying stuff like, if you trust God, you'll remove your masks. When a customer accused me of making her come back for her prescription refills every month when we were restricted to fill one month of medications at a time, no exceptions. The government made everyone aware of the restrictions and people still got upset, but that took the cake. Mine was when we went out drinking with four of my friends from college and played Never Have I Ever at a bar. A friend of mine, let's call her B for Bish, knew something about me that I was very embarrassed about and it made me anxious even thinking about it. B knew these too. So naturally, she brings up this very specific thing in the game, then looks at me directly, making it obvious for everyone at the table that I've in fact done this thing. This hurt me, but was not actually my is this bish seriously moment. It came afterward, when another friend realized how uncomfortable I was. So to keep the game going and move on from me, she did the same thing with B, telling the table something that B has done. Long story short, B flipped out in the middle of the bar, started yelling at my friend for being rude and exposing her to all of us, humiliating her, etc. 
This might not sound that irrational from her side, but the catch is that we all knew about B's thing because she already told us and other classmates about it numerous times. Whereas with mine, she was the only person who knew. Needless to say, we are no longer friends with B after that night. This only happened a few days ago. I got called into the manager's office and got offered the temporary clothing manager position. I didn't necessarily want a manager's position, but I had basically been doing the job for months without the benefits, so I accepted it. Went onto the shop floor and was immediately greeted with congrats from colleagues. A girl I work with that had recently become a duty manager, how she became a manager is beyond me, went and told my business to everyone including the fact that she had been offered the job first and turned it down, so that's why it was handed to me. Everyone knew I was being offered the position before I did. Fifteen minutes later, I'm approached by a different manager saying there's an issue with putting me on the system, but they're trying to rectify it. For the next two hours, I listen to the girl telling everyone and anyone how hard she is going to have it, that she will now have to cover the clothing department as well as her own department. She told colleagues, friends, and even customers who didn't ask. She made my business known to everyone. Eventually, I was brought into the office and officially told that I wouldn't be the clothing manager. Boss missed a deadline to put me on the system. The manager apologized profusely, and I went back out on the floor to hear the new DM telling my story yet again. Longest shift ever. A new boy in the office who had no idea of what personal hygiene consists of. Not a great start. He was loud and obnoxious, not even good at his job. Then, one day, at the smoking shelter, he starts talking about catching rabbits and traps. He's pointing to the fields around the building and saying he's going to ask for permission to put traps out there. We laughed. For all the crap he talked, none of us took him seriously. When we go back, inside, he heads straight to the cubicle of our office manager. This cubicle is adorned with pictures of rabbits. Some are her pets, some are just rabbits she thinks are cute. She has statues, rabbit pens, and pencils. Nobody in their right mind would have asked this woman in this cubicle about going trapping rabbits. He did. I was surprised he made it to the end of the day. I was not surprised when he didn't return the day after. I had a customer ask me how many ones I could give him if he gave me a 20. I told him 19 because I was charging a finder's fee. He told me that was a great deal and slapped down a 20. We were at a bank. I was his bank teller. I work in a somewhat popular restaurant, fast casual style. Think Chipotle, Panda Express, Panera. And it was my first shift as a line cook by myself. I'd already worked in the kitchen and could do every position there, but it was my first time doing it by myself. Well, it was a busy night for us and we were short-staffed. By the time we had slowed down, I had been exhausted and hot as hell. I had been standing over eight burners for an hour and was taking my lunch. I sat in the office and the AC was blasting and it was well needed. My coworker who was cashiering that day and she took her lunch 15 minutes after mine started. She saw me in the office and demanded I get out of her spot. Told me being a cashier is harder than a line cook because she has to deal with the public. When I told her I wasn't moving, she told me to frick off and was a bish the rest of the night. It took about everything in me not to slap her, but instead I told my co-workers who told the MOD and soon after she was fired for stealing. Told a friend that I didn't really feel comfortable around them anymore because of their recent aggressive behavior. Naturally, they threatened to throw me and my girlfriend in jail. I worked for a grocery store, big chain one, probably the first one that comes to mind. I was a beggar slash cart wrangler. There was this one overweight blonde woman, see Karen, who would come in all the time and cause no end of chaos. Examples of her frickery include buying a 15-pound turkey, she came in complaining it tasted bad and wanted to return it. She presented a platter with an empty carcass save one piece of meat on one bone. She bought like a $37 plant, did not water it, showed up with a one year and six months later dead as a doornail demanding a refund. She bought a grill, used 10 gallons of gasoline as fuel, caused an understandable fire-slash-explosion, came back with a receipt and charred grill demanding a refund. I could go on. This would be a weekly, if not bi-weekly, happening. It got to the point where many cashiers would see her enter the store, turn off their light, and leave. Now, when I say she made a fuss, I'm not talking about your normal, I want to speak to your manager type deal. Oh no. She would rant and rave, throw herself on the floor, roll around, throw things, call the police. 87 times that I witnessed, I kept count. And pull out her cell phone, filming herself being victimized to report us to the media. She was eventually banned from the store. This took years. 
I heard stories that she began terrorizing our neighborhood branch seven blocks down the road. Ex-girlfriend got her friend to send stay away from armrest fulcrum messages to my colleagues and then denied all knowledge. Noped out of that one. I unfortunately get this a lot. Um, you can't be Middle Eastern. You don't look Middle Eastern. I usually say, and what does every Middle Eastern person look like? Makes them uncomfortable. For reference, I am pretty pale with freckles, blue eyes, and otherwise my face definitely looks like a Middle Eastern woman. Y'all heard of the Crusades? My mom and Jima are both full Middle Eastern and look similar. This just happened to me a few days ago. I was walking my dog, who is not child-friendly, and we were coming up on a woman and her small child. I could tell the kid was going to make a beeline for my dog, so I crossed to the other side of the street so there wouldn't be any issues. This lady yells, what, my kid can't pet your dog? As if her kid was just entitled to touch any dog she wanted to. I said, he's not good with kids, sorry. And she yelled back, whatever, bish. I was stunned, honestly. Thought about that interaction the rest of the walk. But had I just let her kid come up to my dog, that kid probably would have gotten bitten. I had a volunteer come up to me at the public library I worked at and demand that I tie her shoelace. A friend told me about how they'd threatened to send people to hurt someone after a disagreement. The worst part was, they clearly expected me to find it cool and quirky. Needless to say, I didn't. One time, I ordered a chicken fried steak in a restaurant in which I was currently the only customer. It took an hour to get my food, and when I started eating, I realized that I had gotten chicken fried chicken. I called the waitress over and explained to her that I had ordered chicken fried steak, which she confirmed was accurate but had received chicken fried chicken. She stared blankly at me for about 10 seconds and said, what, you don't like chicken? I'm usually pretty quick on my feet with a witty comeback, but I was literally left speechless for a minute. I finally got the words out to explain to her why I wasn't happy with this mix-up, but ended up just leaving. Needless to say, I have not been back. Edit 1. Restaurant in question was Peppers in Hebronville, Texas. Edit 2. Another time I was in New Martinsville, West Virginia at a steakhouse, don't remember the name, and my waitress hadn't been back to refill our drinks. Looked around and saw she was getting finger banged in the drink station by what I am assuming was a busboy. I work in the oil field and have been to some interesting places in my life. Saw a 300 pound lady wearing booty shorts that said, I heart peen, beat the crap out of her five year old wearing nothing but a diaper in the dining room of a pizza hut in Marietta, Ohio one time too. Edit 3. Do people really not know what chicken fried steak is? It's cubed steak battered and fried served with white gravy, a staple of southern comfort food. Someone from my physics class just said that seconds are smaller than meters. We are in high school. I do not know what to do with this information. My ex, was wife at the time, woke up one time while we were sleeping. She started hitting me, and I mean hard, for no apparent reason. I wake up due to the pain of being punched like crazy and think, WTF, what happened? Did I accidentally stick it in while she was asleep? Nope. After about an hour of her being mad, she finally told me that she had a dream that I slept with someone else and felt she needed to beat me when she woke up. Yeah, that was my, is this bish serious moment. I met some old family friends at my job. I told them that my father had died. One says, well, at least you can have your own life now. I took care of him and no one forced me to. He was my best friend. I visited my grandparents for the holiday in the northern part of the state. All of our family went together and stayed in their fairly large house for several days. The second day I was there, I tried to organize a family game for everyone to play since nobody seemed to be doing much of anything. Nobody wanted to play any of the games I suggested, so my husband and I pulled out our Magic the Gathering cards we had brought and started to play together. My mom approached me in the middle of a game and said, I can't believe you brought a game like that to a family gathering. You two have isolated yourself from everyone else by choosing to play your nerd game instead of mingling with family. Everyone else was just talking and watching TV, and we did end up getting my sister to join us for a game, so I don't know what her problem was. Later that same day, I got really tired from running around in the woods with a couple of my family members and decided to take a nap on the couch downstairs. I was awoken by my mom who looked concerned and asked me if I was feeling okay. I told her I was fine, just tired, and she suddenly switched. It's too bad you came all the way here not to spend any time with your family. We were putting together a game upstairs and everyone was asking, where's Raven? But we couldn't find you. So basically, she got mad at me for playing my own game with my husband when no one was interested in hanging out with me, but later, when I'm tired and trying to sleep, everyone decides to play a game together, and I'm at fault for not wanting to spend time with family? 
I didn't leave him in the car that long, plus the windows were cracked. My mother-in-law, the last time she was ever allowed to watch my oldest child. He was two and it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I was heavily pregnant and had to sit on my hands the next time I saw her because I wanted to cave in the Italian leather handbag she calls a face. Met this girl in high school. Bish really said during science, stars are little pointy things. Our sun is the only actual sun. Needless to say, the whole class went off on her sorry butt. Yeah, we were learning about space that day. When my dad screamed at me for roughly an hour and a half about how he doesn't care about me, how I mean nothing to him, and how I'm not his daughter. The next day, he asked to borrow money for cigarettes and energy drinks. I was five minutes early to service her home for pests. She yelled at me for two minutes about how inconsiderate I was and then told me to wait in my truck. Her husband then pulled up and asked what I was doing and invited me in. She then continued to yell at me about how I shouldn't have come in because she said to wait until the appointed time. Her husband apologized and told me to just leave and gave me $20 cash. I called my boss and explained the whole situation and we blocked all her account information. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.